virtual environment and install all the packages we need for our project. So to get started, I'll have to create a folder first. So I'll create a folder, so I can call it PyMongo, so you can just to call it whatever you want. So I have the PyMongo folder over here. I'll open up my folder. So once I open my folder, so I can head over to here then I can click on the empty space then I'll type CMD and I'll press enter to open it in command prompt. So now it's open in command prompt. So now I have to install virtual environment. So to install virtual environment, you use pip install then you type virtual virtual env then you press enter to install virtual environment but i already have virtual environment installed on my pc so there's no need for me to install virtual environment but if you don't have virtual environment on your pc you have to install virtual environment with this command so after you type this command just press enter to install virtual environment or just cancel everything now we have virtual environment already installed on the pc but the next step to take is to create our virtual environment and then install all of our packages so to create the virtual environment we use the virtual env then you give space then you type venv so that's the name we choose for our virtual environment so you can choose to call it anything so you can call it packages or models but just leave it at venv you can press enter to create your virtual environment my virtual environment is created successfully so if i head over to the folder to my main directory i'll see this folder here venv so that's the virtual environment folder created so i'll just head over to my command prompt again so i have my virtual environment set up so now i have to activate the virtual environment before i can install any package so to activate the virtual environment i'll use the period then i'll use the backslash then the name of my virtual environment is venv then i'll bring the backslash again then i'll type scripts then i'll bring my backslash again then i'll type activate so this will activate the virtual environment so once it's activated if you check here you see the name of the virtual environment it means it's activated but if you are also on mac then this will not work for you if you are mac this is the command you need to use source v and v slash bin so you use the four slash for the for mac then slash activate to activate your virtual environment but if you are on pc this is the command you need to use so i'll just console everything so now we have our virtual environment activated so now we can install our packages so i'll use the pip install then i need the fast api package and then i need the uvcon server so i need the fast api in the uvcon server so i'll press enter to install those packages i have all my packages installed so now in the next lesson we are going to run the uvcon server and also handle a get request with the fast api